Get ready to match the stars! Wiggity Whack! Sparkle Bomb! UNC Samurai! Oor! Alan Smithy! And Nostrum! As we play the star-studded Match Game! And here's the host of the Match Game, Mason Buckyball! Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Match Game. Hope we have a good time tonight. Let's introduce our contestants over here. First up, we have Hater Tot. Hey, Hater Tot, how you doing? I'm good. And over here, we've got Four Top. Good evening, Four Top. Hello. You guys ready to play match game? I'm yes, ready. we are. All right, let's get down to it then. Round one, we're going to start off with Hater Tot. Pick A or B. B. B it is. Margaret decided to find a new church after she caught the priest waving around a blank. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> hmm. I honestly what? don't know what to put. Was she Methodist or Presbyterian? <laughs> <laughs> That's a valid question. All right, is everyone ready? Uh, I think we were. Just oh, forgotten yeah, how sorry. to play. I keep getting pulled out of mumble by someone else. Sorry. <laughs> do I need to do an interview? <laughs> you, you need to play the game, or Margaret decided okay. to find a new church after she oh, caught shit. the priest. Oh shit! What's the um? What's the blank? <laughs> waving around a blank. <laughs> I was I was making up. Making up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I didn't hear the question. <laughs> That's uh <laughs> I think we need to I think we need to tie more with a calendar. Hater tots. Margaret decided to find a new church after she caught the priest waving around a blank. <laughs> oh no. You can't change it now. Oh. No changing answers. <laughs> uh, a textbook about evolution. <laughs> about evolution. All right. I like it. I like it. Let's see what we got. Wiggity anyway, Wag, what do you got for us? Mason, I put down something I'm sure most of us can relate to. She quit because she caught the priest waving around a collection plate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's true. Like it. Sparkle bombs. Who was the priest waving around? Um. The uh, the only thing I could really think of was a Nazi flag. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I mean, I um, that's I an eye of her. Straight for the kill. Straight for the kill. I, I'm saying, I'm saying, like anyone would quit if they saw a Nazi. It's flag. true. It, you cannot uh, argue that. Anyone you, but Nazis. You would see. What was the face waving around? What was he moving? Around? Well, he was. What do you think he was waving around? He was waving around a Torah. <laughs> 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 The priest had converted, I, yeah. <laughs> the priest, he owned the convertible. Ooh, I know uh, you didn't hear the question, but yeah, uh, man, you did I get an answer well. down. Um, I went with a safety card. I went with General Phil Warts. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Waving around General Warts. <laughs> if only. You combine that and the Nazi flag, you guys have to get a fun evening right there. Heck yes. Alan, what was the priest waving around? Well, see, I like the evolutionary textbook, and originally I was thinking a safe sex pamphlet. But I do have to say that I would quit a church <laughs> if the priest was waving around an altar boy. <laughs> oh! oh right bad. for it. You went right for it. Beautiful. I mean, the priest clearly works out. <laughs> oh. Whoa! It's attracting the young ones with his knowledge oh. of the Lord. Nasrum. Okay, the and, uh, for my answer, the priest isn't as strong as Alan's priest, of course, but um, just as bad, he's holding a picture of a young boy's schlong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh, 
This oh, can we show that on look. TV? Can we show that on TV? <laughs> Well, well, a picture of a young boy song? I don't know. Well, don't Can show you... the picture. Don't. This is not a good show with graphic. the sensors. Oh. Unfortunately, Hater Tots, that means you didn't match anyone. Hopefully, in the next round. So that brings us to Four Top. Four Top, you ready for your question? I'm ready. Can't hear Four Top very well. Yeah, Four Top, you're not talking again? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, it was a little. A little bit closer. You're a bit quiet. I just need to get closer to him. Let me turn up the mic, hold on. No, Uri, no. No, Uri, get back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Alright, Fork Top, here's your question. Jeffrey was afraid to sleep in the same bed as his wife. She kept blanking him in her sleep. Um. She kept blanking him in her sleep. I think Hater Tots has an idea. What do you put down? <laughs> I bet she did. <laughs> Where do we get these people? Price is right? <laughs> <laughs> is everyone ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. Alright. Four top. What did she do? Well... I want to keep this safe for TV, so I'm not going to go with what will probably get me the most matches. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll just, I'll just say hitting, but I'm not thinking hitting. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Hitting. Look at it. Jeffrey was afraid to sleep in the same bed as his wife. She kept blanking him in her sleep. I don't get Four Top's answer, because to me there's really only one answer. She kept griefing him. But I'm changed. Beautiful, a beautiful answer. Sparkle, how about you? What do you think she was doing? Um, well, um, uh, I think this is what he was trying to get at, but I put she was molesting him. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Lita, what do you think? Um, I'm gonna count that. It's not necessarily Woo! sexual. Yeah. High five for you. That's, a, that's, that's one point. Right that's now. a point for four top. Paul. Oh. High five. There we go. Uh, <laughs> you and see what have you what have you done over here, UNC? I have done nothing. Oh you NC. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out of uh, your paycheck. Which you don't get. Twice nothing is still nothing. <laughs> What was, uh, what was, what's his, what, what was his name? Jeff Jeffrey. Jeffrey. What was Jeffrey doing? He was, she was, was... poking him. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. I think poking Jeffrey was poking her. Oh. She could have been poking him. We, uh, you know, <laughs> 2012, who knows? At least she's not inviting him to play Slingo. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. What did, you, what did you find for this one? I, I thought I'd play it safe. I'm trying to lend a point out, but I said kicking. Kicking! Ooh. Is that a point uh, hitting? Is that a point yeah. hitting? Yeah. Alright, it's another point. Excellent. Well done. Hey. Jump for joy. Alan, what was she what? doing to him in her I'll sleep? I'll tell you, Mason, I honestly expected uh, some more perverts. <laughs> Though I am happy that uh, Sparkle proved to be the only one. But uh, <laughs> uh, she was elbowing him. Elbow. Elbow. Ooh. Hmm. It's another form of hitting. What do you think? I, I don't know. Mm. It's not my call, though. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little different. I don't think it's the same. It's a little no. I think, it, I think right. it's a little closer than molesting. Oh, come on now. No, molesting <laughs> can be physical. No way. That was way closer. Molesting could just be, yeah, hitting. Just physically harming him. He should get the point. Sleepless call. call. I don't think it's the same. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna move on. Final say. No, it's wrong. She was insulting him. <laughs> Very talented, the wife of Jeffrey. So we came to the same answer then. <laughs> oh.
We'll be back after these commercial messages. You have commercials? If you'd like tickets or to be a contestant on the match game, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Match Game, Care of the Lethal Kind, Soundstage 3B, Brom Studios, Darko, Reddit PVE at p.nerd.nu. Contestants must meet eligibility requirements such as a microphone and use of the free Mumble software. Good luck! They say no marriage is made in heaven. But ours is made somewhere very nearby. So for this, our 10th anniversary, I'll give you something really special. I'll mark this anniversary with diamonds and show you I'd marry you all over again. The Diamond Anniversary Band of a Carrot or More. A diamond is forever. Alright everybody, welcome back. This is round two of Match Game. Let's uh... Let's get to know our contestants a little bit. Hey there, Tots. Where, uh, where do you like to build on, Pete? Uh, Olympia. It's a good city. It's a good city. Um, yeah, I just made a pit. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> what did you put in the pit? It's a pit. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, you ready for round two? Yes, yeah, so I am. All right, let's do this. A or B? B. B it is. All right. Hater Tots. Did you hear they're making a new modern version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? In this one, Snow White will be blank. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that cackling coming from up there, you can see. It's thinking pretty hard over there. That was a micro. Um... Trying to redefine Snow White. The answer is... a man. Ooh. Hmm. Snow White will be a man. Okay. I don't know how that would go over. Would the doors be women? Ooh. That could uh, lead to some pretty interesting scenes. Wiggity, you ready? Ready. It's right, kind Wiggity. of boring, but it follows the trend. Snow White will be in 3D. In 3D? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sure that would happen no matter what else she would be. Sparkle bombs. And the um, new one, Snow White, will be playing. I put pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Makes sense to me. That's an insult to this generation. Snow White will be with child and 16. Yep. And a fan of the Twilight series, no doubt. UNC. Snow White Snow will bake a whole tray of non-traditional gender roles <laughs> and will be a man. A man! Yes! Yes! Good, job. Good, job. Good job! Good job! Ding, ding, ding! That's a point for Hayden Tots. Good job. Ooh. Hello. Snow White will be a blank. Well, I don't think she'll be happy to hear it, but she will be pregnant as well. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun, man. I see some insight into this generation over here. Very keen understanding. <laughs> Alan, well, Snow White were modernized. What would she be? Well, this is round two, and I want to help Tater, to uh, tater Tots out. Hater Tots. Um, so to keep him in the game, Snow White will be a man. A man! Another point for Hater Tots. Fantastic, well done. No wrong. <laughs> I put it... that Snow White will be black. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, it was right there. That's amazing. Snow, Snow <laughs> Black. <laughs> I had to Snow stop black. myself. Snow black. Snow black. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what? The possibilities are endless. Don't eat black snow? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh definitely don't eat black snow. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was focused right. on trying to figure out how to make it a joke on yellow snow. <laughs> I couldn't get the grammar right. There you go. Not without being racist. All right. 
Four top, that leaves you with the A question. I'm ready. It's four top. Where uh, where are you building, P? Uh, I built in Seneca the past few revs, although I've been taking a little bit of a break lately. Real life stuff. Yep. And you know, I I hate to admit it, feels a little bit like cheating, but other video games. Whoa! Whoa. Out, uh -oh. out of line. Uh -oh. Dismiss. Reset the store. Person. Goodbye. <laughs> contestant, please. Trapped. Hey, we play one game and one game only. Minecraft. And m match game. Hallelujah, <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah brother. That was the same time. Alright, All right, that's, tap. that's football manager for you. Yeah, it's so <laughs> true. Here's the question I have for you. Uwe said to his son, It's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of you. Now shut up and put on your blank. Oh. <laughs> You heard that? <laughs> I, I don't think I heard that right. Can you repeat it? Uru said to his son, It's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of you. Now shut up and put on your blank. <laughs> oh, this one. Is everybody ready on the panelists? Ready? Yeah. Like, yes, yes, sir. That's All right. Four top. It's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of you. Now shut up and put on your blank. Shut up and put on your dress. Dress! <laughs> Gonna go with dress. Mm. Look at it. What did uh, our son put on? I also went with dress. Dress! Oh! <laughs> nice. Well done. Sparkle. Um, I thought of a bra. Shut up and put on your bra. Put on the bra. <laughs> That's what the girl says. Yeah, I mean, I'm a female, so... Uwe's uh, Uwe's son is turning into a man, it would appear. Wearing his bra now. You in safe. Well, you know, it's, uh, put on your... Well, you know, it's funny, because, uh, Douglas MacArthur's parents actually dressed him up in a dress until he was about five or six, so... If it's, uh, if it's good enough for the general, then, uh... <laughs> I actually went with ballerina dress. Woo! Ballerina dress. <laughs> Not tutu. Ballerina dress. <laughs> I think that counts. Judges? That counts. That counts. Woo! Definitely. Uwer. Hello there. You said uh, to your son, it's not true that I wanted a daughter instead of you. Now shut up and put on your blank. Well, hopefully I have the, uh, a good idea to what I did say. And I went with a uh, shut up and put on your push up bra. <laughs> yeah! Bro. Even more specific. Straight from the horse's mouth. Push up bra. Beautiful. <laughs> Alan. What, well, the... what do you have? Well, I wanted to take a moment and point out uh, Zuzia, who's been translating all of our conversation here into actual chat. Um, and I just wanted to say I absolutely loved the editorial uh, that UNC said a bunch of boring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's got but, you pegged, uh, UNC. I think uh, part of the problem is Uwe's son is a little short. So he needs to go put on his six-inch heels. Because I didn't, I didn't feed him as a child. <laughs> Not enough milk. Those bones didn't grow. From my teat. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Nuts. Well, <clears throat> it was a toss-up between a dress and makeup, but I had to choose makeup. Aww. Sorry for that. Put on your makeup. Get ready for the ball. You all have very high, <laughs> highest regards of my son. <laughs> I feel sorry for that child. <laughs> Alright. So that is four top in the end with four points. We've got Hater Tots with two. Hater Tots, thank you for coming this evening. You will not be leaving at the hand of though. We have some fantastic prizes for you. Hell yeah! You'll get them after this. And Letha will be hooking you up with those. Um, All I want is Uwe. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can make that happen. Interesting. Oh, Uwe's already busy, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> Uwe's been had by several tonight. 
I didn't even touch his penis. <laughs> and we'll be back after these commercial messages with the audience round. Welcome back to Match Game, everybody. Uh, this is the third round. This is the audience participation round. What we've done is we have pulled the audience to find out how they would complete a two-word phrase, and now we're going to see what Fortop has to say about it in the hopes that he'll win some, uh, some extra money. Um, so Fortop, if you would like to pick three panelists to see what their answers will be, if you want to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick... Uh... Sparkle bombs because she's jumping up and down, mm-hmm. and I'm a well. Now they're all jumping up and down. <laughs> they want it. They want it and, bad. And uh, Ur because he's hiding Fuck. and not jumping up and down. <laughs> and uh, and U and C. Oh, I was hiding and jumping. Oh, Ellen. All uh, right. Sorry, friend. All right. So the uh, two-word phrase is blank pipe. Oh, blank pipe. Blank pipe. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, Sparkle. Oh dear. I'm too drunk for this. <laughs> you can, you can I'm not drunk in. enough. <laughs> Obviously. Oh god. All right, let's do this. Sparkle. <laughs> we need to put pipe. a breathalyzer on our mic. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. And her keyboard. Probably. All right. I'm ready. Blank pipe. This is for me? Oh. After a long consideration, I answered crack pipe. Crack pipe. (laughs) Crack Crack pipe. pipe. (laughs) And the crowd goes wild. Smoking a crack pipe. The crowd is oddly silent on this one. (laughs) (laughs) Someone's endorsing it. There you go. Come on, guys, let's hear it. A cameraman is endorsing it. I'm not sure that's a great endorsement. (laughs) <laughs> not sure that's a great camera. Oh, it's a great camera. <laughs> I think it tells us all we need to know about our camera. You would say, blank pipe. Well, after absolutely no consideration at all, I went with my first instinct and I put down crack pipe. Crack pipe. <laughs> High five, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then he cracked Shit. the podium. Oh, God. God damn it. God damn it, no serum. That- Someone has oh, ruined me. the podium. How, how could you? I'm stuck. I'll fix it. This is good TV, folks. <laughs> I fixed it. I'm out of. There, it's fixed. <laughs> what? I'm not in creative. <laughs> she's not in creative mode. I believe is what she's trying to say. Though she does sound like she's part of the Blair Witch Project. All right, we're well, gonna keep breaking more and more. Oh, That's God. a different color. We're gonna move on now. This is when we tear down the set. <laughs> oh God. It looks terrible. Ur, blank pipe. Hello, hello there, This Mason set was Loki. a lot less shitty when we were working with CBS. <laughs> blank pipe. Where'd you go? Well, as you know, PVE is all about friendly and peaceful and spreading the joy. So I went with love pipe. <laughs> oh. Love pipe. Oh. Is, a, is a love pipe something you might give to a lady friend? Maybe, if she asked nicely and paid well. Who's <laughs> <laughs> right, doing the thing, Ur? All right, so four top. Well, if you get the most selected answer from the audience, you're gonna get thirty diamonds, second fifteen, and third five. So let's uh, let's shoot for the stars. Do you want to go with one of theirs, or you want to do one of your own? Well, I want to go with two of theirs and go with uh, with crack pipe. How does Look that sound, go- audience? <laughs> crack pipe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the uh, steps up to them. The great. I would say the great football player Michael Irvin would say that uh, you can't go wrong with a crack pipe. Oh dear. I think there have been a, oh. a couple of mayors of Washington, D.C. that would agree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> was that, was it's too bad Mr. Barry is not in the audience. Well, you know, his campaign slogan was, we're going to put a little Columbia back in the District of Columbia. Oh, dear. Hmm. That just happened. <laughs> or up his nose. And uh, so let's, uh, we've got Crackpipe before it's out. Let's reveal our answers. 
The number three answer was lead pipe. <laughs> huh. a lead pipe. All right. Just Colonel Mustard in the library with the lead pipe. That was close, though. The number two lead. answer for 15 diamonds. Sewage pipe. Sewage pipe. <laughs> oh, this isn't looking good. This is uh -oh. looking good. It's sensible. It's either looking really good or really bad. Hey, guys. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. And the number and... one answer for 30 diamonds is... Oh. Smoking oh. pipe. Oh. Oh. Which, which, oh. which we, we counted... Well, lucky we you, count. we counted crack in uh, smoking. Oh. Yeah. 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 Diamonds. Yeah. 30 diamonds you get, sir. Diamonds for everyone! Well, for just him, right? Well, <laughs> these guys come to us, right? 30 diamonds for everyone, my ass. <laughs> so, uh, poor Tom. <laughs> Those Is diamonds your... gonna go to the Greater Seneca Building Fund? 30 diamonds, uh, Mr. Top, right there sure. on you. Sure. Yeah. Good job, guys. Well done, everyone. This has been Match Game. Thank you, panelists, for playing. You've all been fantastic. Thank you to Four Top and uh, to Mr. Hater Tots. Came in second. Also last. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and to the audience. Well, you're not first place, you're last place. And the audience Lovely. who gave us some fantastic yeah, answers you, here. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week for another game of Match Game. Please, no. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>